Hey everybody, it's Rhino, and I'm here with Michael from Connecting with Walt. And Some, Tyler. Somebody that, I don't even know what this is. Um, I'm just kidding, we love you. Um, so we are here at Riverbell Terrace, and we're doing the Fantasmic Dining Package, because today is the first day that Fantasmic has returned, and if you do a dining package, you get a Fast Pass, which is great and awesome. So um, I have never actually officially eaten, just when we did our anniversary food, uh, our, our, I don't know what you would call what we did last year, but we ate a lot of food everywhere, and they brought us in, to, but it, it was like for a quick lunch, and it was a really good chicken sandwich, fried chicken sandwich that we kind of all had, um, but this will be my first like real dining experience, so um, my, Michael is here, and uh, do you want to explain how it works? Like, Sure, what you do is when you come in, you get your beverage is free, of course it's non-alcoholic, and it does not have your um, chili. I know. And, and then for starters, you choose either a house salad or southern <laughs> corn chowder soup. Entrees include a fried chicken sandwich, hot chicken, pulled pork sandwich, a barbecue tofu, pork spare ribs catch of the day, or beef brisket sandwich. And then you choose your dessert, which either is Maleficent Dragon, which is for you, you chocolate fans, or strawberry shortcake. Or butterscotch pudding. Oh, that's that's good yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. all this, it comes with. It's forty-five dollars, um, and it comes with all that. And of course, um, I've Kids heard are of twenty-five. Kids are twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. No, I always forget about the children. Yeah. Tyler. That's why we have them. Okay. The children. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but yeah. So uh, it looks like there's some good options here that Michael went through. I'm excited to order and see what we get to. Um, and. Yeah. Yeah. So and then when you get this dining package, you get your choice of either the first showing of Fantasmic or the last showing of Fantasmic. So first showing is at 9 p.m. And then the last showing is at 11. 10.30. 10.30? 10.30. 10.30. I thought there were three. Oh, is it, is it 10.30? They, they can do three if they want to. It's very rare and it hasn't happened for a long time. So. There's three today, though. Is there three Yes, today? it says okay. it on the map. Okay. So, uh, But either way, we're going to the first one. So that's that because we always got to be first. So we're going to wait for our appetizers. I am starving. Uh, it is warm out here. We were lucky enough to get on the shade, but as you can see, it has a wonderful view out here of the rivers of America um, to get you nice and pumped for the show. So uh, Michael, go ahead. Tell us about your corn chowder. I love corn chowder. Anytime it's on a menu, no matter where I go, I get corn chowder. This is delicious. It's fresh. It uh, is very, very sweet. If you like sweet corn, then this sweet corn chowder you will love. It, um, it, they, the, the server said it had a kick to it, but you know, I think the tater tots may have, <laughs> have wiped out any kick I would have felt from this. Um, it's nice, it has a little, um, what was on the top of it? It was a, a little, um, a red pepper. Relish, yeah, yeah red sort of a relish, and <laughs> which is a nice compliment. This is excellent, it's really good. It's good. It's, it's, it is very sweet, like Michael said. It's very starchy. It's got actually more potato in it than I was expecting. So I, I might actually put a little salt and pepper in it, personally. Uh, but it, it's, I mean, I think it's flavorful. It's and I, I'm like not that much salt, just a little bit. But yeah, I don't I don't sense the kick that the server mentioned, to be honest. So yeah, so it's good. It's good overall. Now, one thing to know about this: it is creamy. So if you don't like a, a sort of a cream corn chowder base, you may not care for this. But otherwise, the flavors blend really well it's, together. It's very, very thick. Very thick. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It's, like it's a little sweeter than I expected. And now I'm a little sad because I was hoping for a spice. But, but overall, it's good. I'm happy with the portion size, too. I was worried it was going to be like a lot to have right before you eat. But I'm pretty excited um, for the remainder of the meal. So I didn't want to like lose it all on my corn chowder and then just be full and miserable about it, you know. Because the, the number one thing you want on a really hot day is a good hot creamy soup. <laughs> Come on, what you got, Tyler? I got the beef brisket sandwich. It's actually super greasy on the bottom. I don't know about that, but I'm going to take a bite anyway. What's that that you just pulled out of that sandwich? Probably brisket? I don't know. Or was it a... might have been a little fried onion. Bacon is in it. What's is there bacon? The, what is on that sandwich? Uh, there's a steak. There's a steak mayo. Uh, steak. Steak sauce mayo. I'm sorry. There's provolone cheese and there are fried little onion strings. So what'd you think of that first bite? It's really good. 
Um, it's nice and salty, and then it has like the sweetness, but not overly sweet because like the bar like it's not just straight barbecue sauce. So it's not overly sweet. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. This what did you my, get for your sides? I got the tater tots because I couldn't didn't get enough for them, and also coleslaw. So and the coleslaw is more of like a vinegar coleslaw as opposed to like a creamy one that you would you know maybe see at a lot of places. So it's good overall. I love this place. Michael, what did you get? I had I had the beef brisket sandwich also. I think it's very good. Really nice melting of flavors. I agree that it's a little bit greasy, a little bit soggy on the bottom bun, but it's excellent, very tasty. I got the sauteed green beans with, uh, with uh, bacon. Really well done. Sometimes green beans can be a little chewy if they're not prepared properly. These are prepared very well. I also got the baked beans. Again, what I like about it is that it's good, but it, the sauce isn't really heavy. Or you know how sometimes sauce overpowers the whole flavor of the baked beans. Again, a nice balance. Uh, it, they're sweet. It's sweet baked beans, but not overly sweet. So I went with the catch of the day, which I, it was char, which I was told was a cousin of salmon. Um, and then I got baked beans, as everybody did, which I'm going to try these. Being from Boston, I'm very picky about my baked beans. Um, but these are actually pretty good. I'm like, I feel like I might have just gotten some bacon in this. No, maybe there is bacon in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so those are good. You get a nice little helping here. Um, I'm gonna try this fish now, which came with. Would you call this a barbecue sauce or something? Like I think you have a different sauce than me. It's a Yours seems like a oh, it's Ramelade. Ramelade. Ramelade said a voice of no one because this person is remaining anonymous. It's like mm. the fish is really good. I definitely get that cousin of salmon taste to it. Um, I'm pretty happy with my choice. It's not spicy or anything. It looks like it might be, but it's not. It's not offensive. It's light. It's not breaded, which is also nice. So um, it's not going to be too heavy. Yeah, I'm digging this choice. And we're done. It was really good overall. I would say my favorite is the beef brisket. So I, I know I didn't eat anything else today, but when I've come in the past, so I think everybody should go with this one. What did you think, Rena? Well, Tyler, <laughs> I uh, I thought the I actually I've been enjoying the meal so far. I think the portion size are like right on point. Like any bigger, and I'd be like uh, too much, you know. Um, the service is really great, um, and like I, I can't, like, there's nothing I can really complain about. I'm enjoying it. I'm really excited for my dessert. Oh yeah. yeah. What about you, Michael? It, everything was delicious. Uh, I agree, it, the, the portions I think are a bit generous. Um, I'm full and we still have dessert coming. It was delicious, it was well prepared. Uh, I love the, the blends of um, the different flavors. I think they complement each other and are really well balanced. So, and what a beautiful setting. I mean, you have a great meal right on the rivers of America, which is one of my favorite places here at Disneyland. So, you know, a big thumbs up. Ooh, it's crunchy oh, wow. inside. There's like a cookie on the bottom. I don't care about what like. Should I get some of this, I guess? Mm -hmm. The accoutrements? That is delicious. It's really good. It's actually... It's kind of your typical Disneyland mousse that you would find at a lot of the uh, restaurants for dessert, but then they kind of jazz it up with some of this extra sauces. Like I think it has like an orange, orange sauce and strawberry sauce. It's actually really good. And a tasty little graham cracker crust cookie at the bottom. Yeah. And we noticed too once it came, like you can kind of—I don't know if you can even—oh, you can see it on the plate, but see how purple it is? It's like, yeah, it's like maleficent purple. Pretty cool. This is a winner. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> I went with the butterscotch parfait. This actually looks really good, and there looks like there's like a cake or something in the middle here, so I'm digging deep. Oops, oops. Mm. This is really good. It actually reminds me, like, when I was a kid, they would always, my mom and grandma would always make butterscotch pudding, so this is like hitting a, hitting a note. I'm gonna call my mom. Go ahead and eat that, but this is everything I want out of a dessert. Is there like a cake in there? I think it's just more of these. Oh, yeah, there is. Like, 
Like a brownie. Okay. Like a blondie. Like oh, pieces blondie. of it. Not a whole one, but like pieces of it. You can almost see like I didn't really break that, but I don't know if we can Yeah. Like, really the second I dig in it just gets covered up like like by uh pudding, so. Mm. Alright, going in. It's really good. Yeah, it is like a blondie. It's the blondie almost has like a cinnamon ginger taste to it or something actually. Yeah. So it's it's actually really good. The whipped cream on top is really nice. And there's also like little butterscotch like almost like semi-sweet chocolate chips, but they're like butterscotch chips. Yeah, that's my favorite part. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try yours, is that okay? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> We're gonna do half these. Alright, so there's rumor, Tyler's been saying there's like a spice involved in this. Yeah, after I took a few bites, I noticed that it, there was a spiciness. There's cayenne pepper for a little Maleficent bite in there. What do you think? It's good. I was worried that was like all chocolate, but I mean it is chocolate, but it's like fluffy milk chocolate because you know I'm not... Oh, there's the there's the spice, I feel it. Yeah. Um, and not like offensively spicy, but just like, a, like the hint of it, the hint. Um, as Tyler has said 32 times, like in the back of your throat, you get a little bit of hint of that spice. Um, <laughs> but it's actually like for somebody who doesn't really like chocolate, this is surprisingly good. Okay, we are all done. Michael, do you have some final thoughts? It was a really great meal. Good company, great meal, beautiful view of the river. I really recommend it for $45. You get a hearty meal, three courses, and, uh, and then you get reserved seating for Fantasmic. So you don't have to wait and stand by for hours in the queue. So it's tripping. What did you think, Tyler? I thought it was really great. Good value, and you don't even have to worry about Fantasmic, like you know Michael said. It's good uh, just to not have to worry about that stuff and have a relaxing meal. I mean, that's kind of what half the price is about, to be honest. But you know, great meal. Kind of too much food, almost. Like, yeah, I could, oh, like I don't even it, need that much food. It yeah, was, it was good. You, you know? get the the app, the the meal, the dessert. You know, the the uh, the drink, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I think they kind of these guys said it right. Uh, the service was really good. Uh, very attentive. Um, very, and they not rushed at all. Even at one point, the server said. Um, I'll bring you your desserts when you're ready. Um, and so we, he, was, he said we could just sit there as long as we wanted, which was really awesome. Um, and the food was good. I mean, $45, yeah, to, to kind of relieve some stress of having the, to run and get a ticket for Fantasmic. And it's not even just about that. It was a decent meal. I probably I would have paid happily forty five dollars for the meal we just had if it didn't even have that benefit. So it's really, it was good. And one thing important to remember is they do discounts here. So DVC annual pass holder. Make sure you uh, you ask about that. Um, and then also I want to know where do you guys like to eat for dining packages for Fantasmic? Is this a thing that you look want to do? Look forward to do? What's your favorite place to eat in Disneyland? We love to know. We want to hear from you. Have you been to Riverbell before? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Leave it in the comments. Share this video with a friend and let us know. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Tyler, for... Uh, Michael set this up for us, so thank you, Michael, for inviting us along much. this culinary journey. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. Join us anytime. So we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.